Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the Poetry Slam as part of the ICNA Da'wah Conference. Uh, my name is Kashmir Merim and I am one of your hosts for this evening. Um, just a little bit about myself before we get into talking about the actual Poetry Slam and introducing our poets on uh, the virtual platform, alhamdulillah. So I am also a spoken word poet myself. Um, Previously, I performed in a lot of poetry slams and I enjoy performance, but more importantly, I enjoy listening to um, other poets perform. And so I'm really excited for today, uh, inshallah. And um, yeah, and I'm also an author. I have written two books. One is a collection of poetry and the other is uh, a more recent book called The Muslim Woman's Manifesto. It's kind of like a self-help book, but for Muslim women, uh, I specifically tailored it to talking about spiritual issues that we go through. It's very relevant to da'wah and the kinds of things that we are going through in these times of confusion. Um, and yeah, and so uh, that's pretty much my introduction. And I'm going to pass it over to my co-host, who, who also happens to be my sister. Um, and she's also the founder, and we are the co-founders together of a movement called The Strangers. Um, so I'll pass the book over to you, Aisha, and you can um, introduce yourself and also what The Strangers as a project does. Uh, Jazak, Jazak Lahir, sister. Um, so The Strangers is basically an organization. Um, our aim is to clear up misconceptions, revive the message of Islam, and we through this through um, different means. The main means is through spoken word. Um, we also do other things where, for example, um, you know, uh, writing projects, freedom right projects, um, the Uyghur campaign, etc. If you are interested in finding out more about The Strangers Do, inshallah, all you need to do is go onto our website, which is the strangers, um, the strangers poets dot info. It's very easy. Hopefully you'll be able to get it and um, we will say it again during the session, inshallah. Um, as for myself, I am Aisha and um, my information is on the website as well. And Kashmir Miriam is my sister. I'm really looking forward to this, inshallah. And um, we're going to pass it back on to Kashmir and she's going to go through um, basically uh, the rules and everything. And then the next step, the, the step we've all been waiting for, the poets, inshallah. Yeah, thank you for that, Aisha. So uh, we're going to jump right into the rules, ground rules for the poets and also the judging criteria for us as the judges this time around. Um, because last time, alhamdulillah, we had a huge lineup and we were very ambitious. We tried to get everyone on, but we went very over time. Um, so this time around, we want to be very strict with our timing and we want to make sure that all our poets have an opportunity to um, come on. And obviously, this is a virtual platform, so we have to... Um, make sure that everything is done in a timely way and we don't have any uh, technical issues, inshallah. So um, we pray that it goes smoothly. Please make the dua for us and also be very supportive throughout all of the poems and, um, you know, as we smoothly move through and transition through all of our performers. Um, so, okay, rules. Uh, they're pretty straightforward. Now, for all of the performers who are lined up and who are listening, the rules they have, they're already very aware of, uh, but for our audience, it's pretty simple. It's just each performer has up to three minutes for their poem. Um, we let them know when to begin. It begins from the first word of their poem and we'll be timing that inshallah. The second rule is that we ask that the content of the poem is relevant to the theme of this conference. So it's a very general theme. You know, they have a lot of artistic freedom to talk about Islam in a time of confusion. You can talk about that way. You can talk about purpose, anything that you think is creatively relevant to the theme. Um, and we will be looking at that when we are, you know, uh, scoring each of our performers, inshallah. Um, and the third one is just a general rule that we just hope that all of our performers understand to be respectful to one another, to, to others who are listening, um, to understand that we may have um, young children uh, also watching who probably should be sleeping by now. Um, but just to keep the content very appropriate, no cursing and, you know, just uh, standard rules of being appropriate. Um, and finally, the judging criteria. So as we all know, every single time judging is probably the hardest thing. And if it were up to me and Aisha, we really wouldn't. We just absolutely try and shy away from the role of, ju of judging. Uh, but this time around, we thought it would be better for us to contribute to the judging panel just because it is a virtual platform and it's hard to have so many people and moving parts. 
Um, and we wanted to offer a fair chance to all of our poets without having necessarily like a ranking order. Um, and we also have opened up the platform. So we have young poets involved too. And that's really important to us because we're trying to have them creatively involved in very, uh, you know, mature and relevant discussions like that one because they offer such a powerful perspective in that. And I think that's important to have them involved. Um, so with that being said, we do ask that, um, you know, in, in terms of the, uh, the, the judging criteria, you know, for this is a, a specific message tailored to the poets. So we ask that number one, that your content is relevant to the theme. That is a, a criteria that we will be looking at when judging. Um, you know, I'm sure that you have a lot of freedom to talk about many things within that. So I wouldn't worry too much about that, inshallah. The second thing we will be looking at is your performance and your delivery. Um, so the difference between slam poetry and written poetry, um, or even, uh, you know, like um, reading poetry is very different to, to the culture of performance. And, you know, the delivery, I think, is something that really enhances your poem and your content. It allows for the words that you're speaking or that you had written to connect with the hearts and the, the minds of the people that you are talking to. Um, so just to bear that in mind and to not have to worry about, you know, who, who's watching you and how many people might be seeing you, uh, but to just focus in like as if you're talking to someone in your room that might help you with your performance um, and just to engage with the words that you're saying. That is something that we'll be looking at, inshallah. And the final category that we will be judging on is the audience engagement. So now this is a message specifically for our listeners out there. If you like what you hear, if you have a line or, you know, a poet says a line that resonates with you, we ask that you share your support and your feedback in the comments section. That is something that we will be looking at. Um, it just shows us how much that poem has connected with you. Um, because, you know, as we know, poetry is very subjective. What might resonate with me might, res uh, you know, might not resonate with someone else, but a particular line might strike you in a way that it doesn't strike someone else. So, we do ask that you show your love, you show your support, and again, you'd be respectful in the comment section. And um, that's pretty much it. So we have the grand rule sorted. We have our judging criteria. Um, and just to let our performers know that if they do go over three minutes, you have a grace period of 10 seconds. So after that, we will have to unfortunately deduct points. Um, but I'm sure that from, you know, reviewing all of your content upon your, you know, submissions, that you just uh, that all of them should be within that time frame um so without any further ado we will be introducing can i, add, yeah. can I add one yep. one couple of more things so um as for the three minute grace period um now with the i know that the performers they might get a little bit nervous um but don't worry about it just do the best that you can do if you go over you go over god willing you know that should be fine um and we will definitely um don't it's not it's not the end of the world don't get nervous i can i can already feel the anxiety rising right now don't worry about it uh, that's to our performers now to our audience um now your role as the audience is crucial meaning that whatever you know you what whatever comments that you make whatever likes that you give to the performers um that's going to be heavily taken into account because as we said we don't have any external judges um from my sister and i so um you are also the judges so please 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 take that very seriously as well um okay so Kashmir, are you gonna um introduce the next poet yes so our next poet for the evening is sister namira sister namira are you online Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, Sister Namira? Alhamdulillah. What about you, sisters? I'm Alhamdulillah. Great. Alhamdulillah. Thank, Thank you. you for asking. And um, where are you calling us from today? What, uh, you're, uh You're calling us from India, right, Sister Namira? Yes, I'm from India. Yeah. Yes, um, and how how is it how is it like in India right now? Like, is it? I've, I've never been so. In Lyon. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. For, uh, yeah, I just live in the South India, so it is quite uh, stable and comfortable. Alhamdulillah. 
الحمد لله الحمد لله so sister Namira tell us a little bit about yourself are you a student do you work what would you like to tell us about yourself are you a poet like what do you do yes yes I'm Namira Fatima from India and I'm just 17 years old and uh, so I write most of the poems and some quotes on Instagram also. And today my title is, uh, the po poem's title is that Islam stands for peace. Right, Islam stands for peace. Okay, perfect. Yes. Thank you so much. You're so young. Yeah. So many of our performers are very young. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, and still <laughs> so gifted and talented. So thank you so much for introducing yourself. And whenever you are ready, uh, feel free to begin. Yeah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We are all living in times of confusion where religion seems to always a major confusion and where this confusion leads to war in terror for no reason. I stands for Islam and Islam stands for peace. But you replace it by terror, you denied it and loathed in error. Is this Islamophobic by Godfrey or sheer stupidity of yours? And I think both. Thousands of Muslims dying each day, but there is no free way. The West are killing innocents for oil, but claim it's for peace. I'm talking about Syria, where bombing and shooting was never shown on media. Kashmir can be called as the biggest prison, where it is always India's oppression. Gaza had been bombed for, Gaza had been bombed for 11 straight days, but there was no media coverage. Islam is seen as a contagious disease in China, where nearly 66% of Uyghur Muslims went through the deadly camps of deadly arena. An apple fell to the ground and Newton discovered gravity. Thousands of Palestinians fall and still no one has discovered humanity. Every scream may not reach us, but every soul you'll killed will reach to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he is going to take revenge in his adala. Jazakallah khair. Wa'iyaki, jazakallah khair. I feel like I can't talk. I think I can hear the adhan in the background. Is that correct? Yeah. <laughs> it was, it's fajr. In India, subhanallah. Um, sorry, you can tell us the yeah, I'm very jealous. I wish that I lived in a country where I could hear the adhan like that. Um, but Jazakallah <laughs> so much, Sister Namira, your poem was so beautiful. And I love how you talked about, um, you know, the blood of a person who is killed unjustly reaching Allah. You know, it, it was just yeah. a powerful way of um, discussing that. Um, so, yeah, so my question to you is, and, you know, feel free to, like, talk about this however you'd like to because you finished a little bit earlier than uh, your three minutes but we'd love to hear about what you think is an excellent solution based on where you live right now and you know your interaction with the Muslim community and the non-Muslim community too in India what do you think is a, a good solution in these times of confusion yeah I think it should be equality right uh, not everyone uh, we are yeah, like uh, in the north also and in the south also, our brothers and sisters are getting mocked and for no reason they are killed. So it is like law and justice should be strong, right? The law and justice. Yes, I think, uh, I think just in the mirror, your froze. camera. Yeah, I think it froze, but. Uh, from what I understand, her response is the idea of justice. I think that's such a powerful concept. And I think that we don't explore that enough. That's something that we're very passionate about as strangers, right, Aisha? The concept of justice always appears in all of the work that we're doing, you know. And I think it's also something that attracts me to Islam. You know, whenever I think about, like, all the things that are happening right now, the injustices in the world, the hope that I have or the reflections that I have on Allah being a just creator gives me hope and and i think that for someone who lives this life not not thinking about justice or not thinking about um you know bad being recompensed uh in the hereafter or even in this world then it you you lose hope so the fact that we as muslims alhamdulillah with the blessings you know that allah has given to us of islam 
we can appreciate this concept of justice. So, um, yeah, yeah so exactly I, I really appreciate uh, that exactly. and Amir mentioned it. Uh, Kashmir, you basically put it beautifully. Um, I think with justice, um, I, I believe someone once said that if you believe in justice, then you have to believe in an afterlife because there will never be true justice in this life. Um, you know, every, every push that one person has, if you push them back, it's never really going to be equal. And the only one who can truly be, um, you know, the most just is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he created justice. Um, so I think I think there's a lot of hope there and I love the fact that um, Sister Namira and I, I know a few other poets are going to be speaking and have spoken already about the concept of justice. Um, and the first step really is what we're doing, inshallah, God willing, which is bringing awareness and through such a beautiful means of eloquence. And may Allah accept it from each of our poets. I mean. Yeah, Allahumma, I mean. And actually I was, I was thinking about this concept of justice just I don't mean to um, to talk too long about it because I know we have our next performer, inshallah, ready. Um, but I was thinking that oftentimes one of the questions that a lot of people have to reject uh, the concept of a God is this world is not just. Um, but actually, I think if you flip the argument and you realize that Islam or religion, most monotheistic religions, specifically Islam, offers the idea of a hereafter, to provide an explanation to the to the question of injustice in this world answers yeah. that question of justice you know exactly. because uh, there is an answer to it islam provides the answer so um and, but without any without going any and, deeper <laughs> and just to finish off your point as well um just like this whole convention is based around that islam the solution in times of confusion and a big question is um why is there so much evil in the world and you basically said it perfectly um but connected to justice is also wisdom um, and understanding that there is a greater wisdom and um, that also requires humility on our behalf and patience. So there's there's many virtues involved in this, but Jazakallah Khair for um, bringing that up. Yeah, no problem. Jazakallah Khair for allowing me to speak about it. And uh, actually going to be wrapping things up, inshallah. And, uh, the content and the relevance of all of the poems and just the diversity that we have in today's um, performer set so Jazakul Khair to everyone from the bottom of our heart as the strangers as your sisters in Islam and as your fellow poets we know it's not easy coming on this platform and to share your work that's so personal to you but um, we hope that our audience also enjoyed it we'd like to thank everyone we'd also like to thank Ikna for hosting us on this platform um, and for making this opportunity available to our youth to our to our whole ummah and um, we pray that above all everyone benefited from it inshallah and uh, Jazakallah khair Aisha would you like to add anything to that? Um, yes subhanallah you know I did not expect um, the schools to be so close together and it's very important to say it was literally by a decimal point and um, subhanallah like it's you were every single one of our poets um, your contribution it, you know this whole kind of uh, label of winner here, winner there. Um, my sister and I, we do personally dislike it, but the whole kind of uh, feel of competition, it just has to, unfortunately, just requires that, you know. Um, but you all are winners, and I'm not just saying that to sound cliched, but it truly is um, important that you know that, that your, your work and your words have made a difference to someone who is listening out there. And we truly appreciate, especially I'm calling all the way from India, some of you, other people I know that you had um, other engagements as well, but you made the effort to come here, be here, share your message, and it was a beautiful message. Jazakallah uh, Hayd so much, and uh, we really hope we can work with you in the future, inshallah, future projects, and um, stay well and stay blessed. Uh, I mean, I mean, okay, and with that, we will close today's session, inshallah. Uh, if you guys would like to check out more of our work again, we will um, post more information on our website and also you can check us out on our Instagram, The Strangers. And um, yeah, and alhamdulillah, today we finished on time. So jazakallah uh, again for watching to all of our performers, for Ikna for hosting. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.